Hi everybody. Today we're going to review the top keyboard shortcuts in Excel. In the recently released 365 Ninja Shortcuts Pack, we highlight the keyboard shortcuts available in Outlook, Excel, OneNote, Outlook on the Web, PowerPoint, and Word. Here are some of the top Excel shortcuts, all of which begin with the control button. So the first one I'm going to show you is hitting the control button and then page up or page down. I have a spreadsheet open here and when I hit control page down you'll see down here that it'll tab over to the next tab. So control page down now I'm in February control page down and now I'm in March. Excel is great for hosting a ton of data and when you have multiple tabs switching back and forth between tabs can be really easy with this keyboard command. Now let's move on to control shift ampersand. I've got a new spreadsheet open here that I'm building from scratch and sometimes when you're building from scratch it can get a little difficult adding all the features you want quickly. So here's a keyboard shortcut you can use. Let's say I want to create a border without having to go up into the items up here. All I would have to hit is control shift ampersand and ampersand is located on the 7 key. So control shift ampersand. And now I have a border around my table. Another command you can use to build your table quickly is control shift dollar sign. So I've typed out the price for each of these inventory items uh, pretty quickly and I didn't have time to add in the dollar sign. So if I quickly want to add the dollar sign and also add two digits for the decimal point that follow a dollar so I can account for cents, here's a quick command for that. All you have to do is hit control shift dollar sign and dollar signs located on the four key. When I hit that, it's automatically formatted as money. So now I have my dollar sign and my two decimal places. If I just typed zero after the dollar there, then it would just uh, default to zero cents. Now let's say you wanted to format your time column here and you wanted to make sure you have the AM and PM in place. A quick way to do that is by hitting Control Shift Commercial App. So I'm going to highlight all these pre-filled cells that I just hit in quickly and I'm going to hit control shift and the number two button where the commercial at button is located. Now it does assume a few things. For instance, if I put five, it's going to put 5 a.m. If I were to put in military time, it would be p.m. But it's easily adjustable if you just double click in there and adjust to p.m. Now there's also a command for dates if I wanted to add in a format, an automatic format that would add in the day, month, and year. You would use control shift pound. So if I just highlight these cells here and I want to format them for dates, I'll hit control shift pound on the three button. And then when I go in and put the date, let's say March 2nd, it automatically formats it. So it has the day, the month, the month, and the year. This is March 5th, April 1st, March 1st, and so on. Now if at any point I want to format these cells and adjust the way they look, all I have to do is hit Control 1. So let's say I wanted my date to look a little different. I would just hit Control 1 and the format cells menu would appear. I'd go over to the number tab here and select how I want to see my date. If I prefer to see the numbers instead of seeing the month written out, I can select that option right here. Hope you found these control commands helpful and I hope they make you quicker in Excel. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.